Hi, I'm an Australian living here in Belarus and today I'm going to Vasilki, which is a very famous restaurant here. There's many versions of them sprinkled through the city. I'm here in Dana Mall at the moment in the northern suburbs of Minsk, Belarus. I'm going to go up there and I'm going to try their Draniki. I'm pretty sure I haven't tried Draniki from Vasilki before, so this is, you know, when people say what's the one dish which is truly Belarusian, really Belarusian, the silky will usually get the uh, nod on that one. So I'm going to go up here first. I'll give you a little bit of a look at it as I come up. Come up here and this is the silky. You'll notice that the <laughs> very interesting decoration on the chairs here. So they look like beds. I don't know the significance of this. I don't know whether you have more fun at the silky than you do in bed or something. Oh, I'm not sure what's behind this. The other Vasilkis haven't got this that I've noticed. This seems to be just a Dana Mall one. And as I say, there are quite a few hanging around. But this is a big restaurant here. Let's go on in. I'll turn back around. All right, let's enter in and see what they have for us. Might sit outside today. I think we'll sit outside. I'll just take a seat. Actually, I'll sit right here. Dila uh, Adin, Russia. All right, let's set up here. Uh, so I'll turn you around and you can check out the menu. The menu here is super impressive. Okay, I have been here before. Now, the menu here has a lot of hardcore Belarusian stuff. It's very potato, it's very meat, it's very oily. Onions, all the good stuff that's here. It's very genuine Belarusian food. And I know that, apart from people telling me, I know that because when you come here, it's Belarusians. It's Belarusian families, normal Belarusian families. They're not the rich ones. They're not the glamorous ones. They're not the, the rich IT guys. It's just normal Belarusian people. And that's what I like about it. I know I'm getting the real deal. And as I say, their menu has a lot of depth to it. We've got some lemonade here. Just so you know, the exchange rate here is around 2.5 or 2.6 rubles per dollar. So if you want to get 310 mils, it'll cost you around 250. All right, let's get to the real stuff. Oh, look at that. Oh, thank you. This is only for that. This is breakfast, right? It's after that. This is breakfast. So that's 12.9. So it's only five bucks. Look at that bad boy. Got everything there, the bacon, sausages, a couple of eggs, kartoshka, beautiful. Away we go. Some other boring breakfast stuff. Oh, good old blini with tvor, there you go. With cottage cheese inside. Omelette. It's very literal. If you know the Russian alphabet, it's an international word, omelette. Uh, with eggs. All right, some salad stuff. Oh, wow, this one is really well known. I've eaten this a lot, actually. It's got um, beetroot, carrot, lots of mayonnaise, cream, and at the bottom is fish. Uh, I'm not sure which kind of fish. Maybe I can read here. Anyway, so this itself as well is only like three fifty, And they've also got the grams here, so you know how big stuff is. So you can stop getting too fat when you're eating here. So you know this is 235 You know kind of roughly what's in it. Yeah, oh, there you go. It's in English. Look at that. Herring fillet, uh, beetroot. Carrot, potatoes, eggs, onion, dressed in mayonnaise, served with pea tendrils. All right, this is another one. This is very famous Belarusian kind of, I don't know if you call it salad. It's a bit loose <laughs> calling it salad, but I guess it is. Got some meat platters. Look at that. So this one, let's have a bit of a feel here. So let's go to the biggie. So about half a kilogram of this, and you're looking at around $10, $11. More similar. Got some more herrings there. Some more herring and potato. Looking good, bro. Looking good. I am literally salivating. I can't wait to get into some of these. I might even get a couple of things. Ah, there's some borscht. Look at that. The real deal borscht. Let's keep going. Oh, here we go. Draniki. These are all draniki. Oh, wow. Which one do I choose? Go on here with four little draniki pancakes. Right, look, I'm going to be honest. I'm eyeing this off. I'm seeing the meat ooze out of it. I'm like, this is going to be Vukuzni. And it's around, uh, how much does that do? Some math? Six bucks, six USD. Got some more variations with some salmon, uh, with some glibi, a bit of army, a 
um, mushrooms. More there. You know, it's a dill sprinkled on top. You'll know that's a famous herb for this part of the world. Pretty good dill, actually. Dill is pretty tasty. Got some more um, kind of boiled. You can see here, boiled potato. Uh, there was some sausages and stuff there. Again, it's a pretty big meal. It's 730. What a potato orgy for about eight bucks. There's some sasiki in there as well. Good. Some more bacon here. Oh, wow. Just like Babushka used to make it. I don't even know what this is. Ah, home. And this is like homemade. The munch near. Homemade. How many? One of my viewers, a girl from Poland, mentioned pierogi the other day in a comment. And here is uh, pelmeni. It's kind of an equivalent to pierogi. Even some Chinese dumplings. They're all kind of similar, aren't they? All right. Oh, wow. Look at this. Kolbasok sausages. Wow. So what have we got here? 17. That's about a six bucks. 400 grams of pretty much pure protein. Not bad. This one, pretty similar. Mm, this looks delicious. I want to have two servings. All right. I might just stop here. You got some chicken fillets as well. Koritsa. Chicken fillets. I'll just hurry up a little bit. Some more meats. Yeah, as I said, it's a massive menu and so much good stuff here. Like, really. Uh, some ribi. Got some fish here. Some salmon. Different kinds of fish. Got some uh, good quality steak there as well, if you like that kind of stuff. And then we've got some desserts. So I'll come back for the desserts. I'll quick, do a quick flick through for you so you can just see what else is there. It's like a bit of wine. Some shots, of course. <laughs> um, smoothie type thing. A few more dessert things there. So let's go back. Let's definitely get this Draniki. This is what we want. This looks spectacular. Ready to order? Um, Kirill. Kirill. My name is Ben with the Magic Kirill. All right. Um, can I have this Draneki? And Toje Batilka Vada Sagasa. Toje Lista. Hello. Sio? Spasiva. All right. We're in there. Kirill was a good sport, good guy. Um, we're ready for some Draneki. About 15 minutes later, here is the Draniki, 500 grams. Now, my impression was it was going to be a bit bigger, but to be fair, for what it is and for a meal and the cost, it's very, very good. It's about 520 grams, lots of meat, a little bit of carrot, lots of gravy, lots of dill on top. It looks really, really good. I just want to eat it. Uh, I'll let you know how I go. The silky never let you down. It was good. It was heavy. It was meaty. It was potato-y. Could you imagine? And it was good. Yeah. Pretty serious calorie count in there. You don't want to come here every day. You'll start putting on the podge a bit, but very genuine food, very tasty, very hearty food. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Actually, you know what? I gave 7 out of 10 for the Drani here at the university. But I think I was just being polite because their soup was so bad. Um, all right, 7.5. Nah, too generous. Seven, 7 out of 10. Good. We'll get it again. I really just want to eat the whole menu here. Whenever I get here, I get really indecisive. Usually I go to a restaurant, it's like, boom, just give me that. I don't even need the menu. I know what I want. Here, I just like a kid in a candy store. Just, oh, this looks great. Oh, this looks great. Next page. Oh, next page. Oh, it's like this, right? So... Getting through the menu slowly, delicious, highly recommended, and very affordable too. It's very sensible pricing here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've made so many videos about the culture and life here in Belarus. So if you want to like peep through, peep behind the, the semi-iron curtain of 2022, feel free to check out some of my content. If you enjoy it, do consider subscribing to my channel.